Hello friends, welcome to next lecture in kinematics of machines. So in this lecture, we'll be seeing the derivation of arc of contact or the derivation for the expression to determine the arc of contact. So we know our arc of contact will have the two parts that is arc of approach and arc of recess. So we shall obtain the expressions for the arc of approach and arc of recess. So to know what are the steps involved in this derivation, please stay tuned with this video lecture. Before we begin with this lecture, I request you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you have not yet subscribed, please like our Facebook page, Mechanical Engineering Tutorials and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. The links are in the description below. So friends, let's begin with the video lecture. So here, the arc of contact is the distance traveled by a point on either of the pitch circle of the two wheels or two gears during the period of pair of or during the period of engagement or disengagement. So here in this figure, the beginning of engagement of the driving involute is shown as GH. So here this GH is the involute gear. So this is the beginning of engagement. And when the point of contact is at P, so here we have P as the point of contact, it is shown as JK. And when the end of engagement, that is the driving involute is shown as DL. So the arc of contact is P dash to P double dash and it consists of the arc of approach P dash to P and P to P double dash on this pitch circle. So here we have the derivation. So let we consider that TA be the time to traverse the arc of approach that is from P dash to P the time taken be TA and the arc of approach P P dash that is P P dash is given by the tangential velocity of point P dash into the time taken to traverse the arc of approach that is P P dash is equal to tangential velocity of P dash into T A. Now tangential velocity of P dash is given by the expression omega A into R into T A. So this T A is kept as it is. So now to this particular equation we multiply and divide it by cos phi. So we can write this as omega A R cos phi into 1 upon cos phi into T A. Now if you see this omega into R cos phi it is nothing but tangential velocity of point H that is this particular point or this particular involute. So this part will be tangential velocity of H into Ta by cos phi. Now tangential velocity of H into Ta will be nothing but the arc H to K. So here this arc H K so that will be the tangential velocity of point H into Ta will be the length of arc H K. So this term becomes HK upon cos phi. So that can be written as F to K minus F to H that is FK minus FH upon cos phi. So this can be written again as FP minus FC upon cos phi that is FP minus FC. So the reason is from the arc we have taken on the line of action is because the arc FK is equal to FP as the point P is on the generator FB that rolls on the base circle FHK to generate the involute PK. Similarly, the arc FH is equal to FC. So since FK is equal to FB and arc FH is equal to FC, that as I told you the reason this FK is written as FP and FH is written as FC. So this becomes CP that is C to P. So CP upon cos phi. So this is the expression we have derived for the arc of approach. On the similar lines, we will derive the expression for arc of recess. So the arc of recess from P to P double dash is P double dash is equal to the tangential velocity of P into the time taken to traverse the arc of recess that is TR. So TR is the time taken to traverse the path of recess that is P to P double dash. So tangential velocity of P we can express this as omega A into R and this TR is as it is. And again we repeat the same step that is multiply and divide by cos phi. Phi is the angle of 
or the pressure angle. So omega A into R cos phi into 1 upon cos phi into TR. So this term omega A R cos phi becomes the tangential velocity of this point K. So TR upon cos phi remains as it is. Now this tangential velocity of K into TR will be the arc length KL. So KL upon cos phi. Now KL upon cos phi can be written as FL minus FK. So FL minus FK upon cos phi. Now FL is equal to FD and FK is equal to FB. So we have seen the reason how FL arc FL will become equal to the straight line FD and arc FK will become straight line FB upon cos phi. So this term when we simplify that is FD minus FP we get PD that is P2D upon cos phi. Now this PD upon cos phi is the length of the arc of recess. Now the total arc of contact will be the length of arc of approach plus length of arc of recess. So that will be CD upon cos phi that is from point C to point D upon cos phi. Thus we can say this CD is nothing but we have the path of contact. So we have already seen this is the length of path of contact. So the arc of contact can be expressed as path of contact upon the cos of the pressure angle. So this is the expression for the length of arc of contact or just we can say the arc of contact. So friends that's all for today in this video lecture. So if you have understood the expression of the length of arc of contact or the steps involved in the derivation for the arc of contact please like and share this video with your friends please subscribe to this youtube channel like our facebook page and follow us on twitter and instagram the links are in the description below so thank you very much friends